what most of you who have played Donkey Kong a lot will already notice is that I'm not playing it on the original machine. Uh, the original machine is down at the arcade, but I'm not obviously going to bring that here to play that. So I'm playing this on a Pandora's box, which is set up the same as the arcade machine is in terms of difficulty and lives. So hopefully it should be a fair representation of what goes on in the actual game. And one thing I would say is if you are playing this at home on a sort of Pandora's box, make sure you've got your joystick set up so it'd be a four-way joystick, otherwise this game's a nightmare. So first of all, I'll just talk you through what sort of Steve Weeby and whatever training you tend to do in the first level. So let's get started. So the key thing with the first level, which doesn't really apply to the rest of the game, is to collect the hammer. Uh, nobody in, in the rest of the game is just don't generally deemed too much of a pain to collect the hammer and do anything else. So run straight away, make sure that blue barrel doesn't drop on top of you. And we go up here. Yeah. And hang about a bit and then grab your barrel. Uh, grab your hammer, sorry. And we'll start taking out some barrels. Right, nothing there, don't worry. So we keep going up. I'm gonna get killed straight away, I can tell. Oh, I got away with that. So one thing that you probably notice when you're playing it yourself and it might look like it's a bit of a cheat or and you've just seen it there is when you sometimes jump over barrels uh, you don't get 100 points now the reason that I don't know what the exact reason it is but the way you get around that is you tap the oh, I am going to get killed straight away oh, you tap the controller left or right at the apex of the jump and it makes sure that you get a point and that will come in handy later on so when you get to the top you grab the hammer there I Steve Weeby generally tends to hang around this set of ladders. Uh, but I go on to the end here, just because it's easy. And the reason it's easy is I find if you hang around here, the hammer will get anything that comes down that ladder, and it will get anything that goes above you. This is a pretty poor first level, but as you can see, we're at the top, so we've made it. So second level, we'll see I've got a bit of pin cushion here because I've tried to make the screen wider. So what you do on this level is you get that bag, and again, this is one of the things that you only do the first time you play this round. Now there's a way to play this, and you play it every single time the same way. You clear out the rivets in this order. You take that one, you miss the second one, and make sure you do it down the left hand side of the screen. You take out that one, and then across the top. And the reason that is, is you want to basically get this side locked off when you collect this hammer, go after all these, because what will happen is you're gonna try and trap all of the ghosts down this right-hand side of the machine, on this right-hand side of the screen. So if you take them out, what will happen is, as long as you're on the right-hand side of the screen, all the flames will respawn on the left, and as you can see, they're now trapped, so they can't get to me. So we're gonna clear out the rest of this screen here, and we're gonna try and wait for these two to come up to the top. Done, which is great. So what we're now going to do is take them two out. Now, there's a little trick in Donkey Kong, a little glitch. These two will now appear over here somewhere, which is great. So they're now trapped. I can't get caught by any flames. Now, it's a little trick. What you do is you go up this last ladder once everything's cleared. You stand next to this rivet, uh, sorry, next to this ladder, and you press jump. And at the top of the jump, you press left or right, and you get 100 points every time you jump. If you keep doing that you notice your score goes up quicker than the countdown bonus, and the countdown bonus is on the top right hand side there. And you can wait till that goes all the way down to zero, and then you take out the last rivet. And then we go. So that's level one and two done with relatively little fuss. Obviously, got a bit of a poor first round because the uh, amount of time it took me to get to the top. So the difference with the second time you go through this level is you do not go for the hammer on that first hammer. You just jump over the top of this one and just get to the top as quickly as possible, at least to that second hammer as quickly as possible. Go up. Let me go. I'll tell you what. Mm. And we're just doing that little tap to the left or right at the top. And again, we're at the top, grab that hammer. And as I say, Steve Weeby generally tends to hang around that second ladder. 
um, that ladder, sorry, the first ladder there. I go to the end now, Steve Weeby obviously knows better than me, but for a beginner's perspective, I just find it easy because if, a, if the barrel goes across the top, it will hit it. If your hammer goes, it gives you a chance to jump over it. And again, we're at the top with relatively little fuss. So the second level um, is where a lot of people get caught. The first thing you do is jump straight on that lift and then get the, I can't remember what it was there, and then, and then you jump straight back and get this. Now, what you want to do is wait for that flame to go down the ladder, jump back on here, jump off. Ah, oh, I've got trapped. That's right. Done the first run. So do that again, straight on. Straight off. We need to get that hat as quick as possible. So we're going to try that again, straight on. Straight off. And we'll go to the top. And then we'll wait. And we want that flame to go down. Which it will. And now we're going to jump across. Now what we do here, you've got to be very quick, is you run right across and then you want to jump straight to that top floor there. It cuts out all that having to worry about getting up the stairs. Now once you've done that, you hang around here. It's another one of them glitches like we saw on the second rivet level. You wait for the flame to come up and again you do that little jump. And at the top of the jump you press left and right. Wait, so let's go and go and click that. See if he comes back up again. And we just do that. I don't want to give up on that and go. So this is again where people generally tend to get a bit caught out. So you get to the top of the ladder and you wait. Now what you want to do is you want to make it to so your foot is halfway on or halfway off that yellow um well the yellow start of the lift there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait there. Now what you're doing is as soon as it's gone over your head on the early levels, as soon as it's gone over your head, you can run up the ladder. So that's it, now we've got and it's as simple as that. People generally tend to find that bit a bit complicated, but it's fairly simple. Once you've learned that in the early stages, it's easy to repeat. Now on this level, again, the slightly different to the first, we're not gonna go for that handbag, we're just gonna ignore that, it's not worth the risk. And we're gonna do the level exactly the same way as we did the last one. So, going up. I'm gonna go and grab this hammer. We've got a couple on this level, so we're gonna go after them. No, they're all going to get away from me, aren't they? Uh, so one comes down that ladder, there we go. And as we saw in the first level, they're all now going to get respawned on the left-hand side because I'm on the right-hand side of the screen. So as long as you're any anywhere on the right-hand side of that ladder, they'll get respawned on the left-hand side of the screen. If I was on the left-hand side, they get respawned on the right-hand side of the screen. So give myself a bit of a pickle here, but we should better get this sorted out. That's not one's trapped there, so let's go. Should be alright. So we now want that to come down and these two to come up to sort of clear this level. If not, we won't be able to maximise the bonus by using the jump. Hello Stuart, hello Eddie. Right, so now we get to the top and again it's that jumping trick. Jump and press left at the top of your jump and you'll get 100 points per jump. Keep an eye on that flame that's in the middle because if that starts coming up the ladders towards you, you're in trouble. And he's Just got to keep an eye on this because he can go past one so we're going to jump over. And that's level two done. Right, third level. Same as the first, uh, the second, really. Ignore the hammer. Get to the top as quickly as possible. I had a bit of a false start there. Should get away with this. Yeah, we'll go up here. Nice, nice little 300 there. I think that's a go. Oh. oh, just about. And again, as per the second level, we're going to grab the hammer here. And we're going to walk all the way to the end. And off we go. One more 
jump for luck, and up we go. So the next level is apparently concrete pies they are supposed to be in this level. Um, I didn't know that for, until a few weeks ago, but what you want to do is you want to wait... <sighs> The amount of flames that will appear there equals the amount of levels up to a maximum of five. So you wait until they've all come out on that left hand side. Now, then you start making your way up. Now this level, assuming the flames behave, is really easy. Um, but it is largely dependent on the flames behaving, which is a really good uh, example there. So what you're supposed to do is just wait on the left hand side of the screen. Wait until the three flames appear, then go straight away. I thought these were like custard pies. Um, just to let you know, the, the direction of the travelator will change every time Donkey Kong reaches the end. So they don't change for these two up here, but for the ones down the bottom, they change every time Donkey Kong reaches the end. But Oh, it's going to hang about now. Need that to go up before the flame gets there. There we go. So that's a fairly easy level. Assuming the flames, yeah. So the lift level again. Again, we're going to do exactly the same things we did in the second time. Get over there. So, I think this feels a bit harder than the original version, but. Yeah, need to jump back. That comes down a bit quicker than I remember it on the actual machine, so maybe I've got this set up slightly differently. And again, jumping over, jumping back. And then off we get. And then we're jumping on this one. Get over and then jump across. Lovely. Right. And then I'm going to wait here. Thanks, Rob. That doesn't seem to want to come up much. I don't know if I risk getting a hand. Oh, let's get the hand back. Let's get out of here. Come on. And then one leg on, one leg off, and just as it goes over your head, this is about this level is the one that takes out the best of people in the later stages. So we just go out there. So as you get to level four, something changes about not this level. Again, we just do this level exactly the same each time. I think the, the flames just get a bit faster each time you play it. So taking out the first rivet. Third. Up and over, onto the fourth, collect the hammer, and we go on a killing spree, making sure that we get them and we stay over the right hand side of the screen when we do. So, the right hand side of this ladder you want to be. Let's get him. Oh, I'm going to get. I don't know if I've been greedy there. Yep, a bit greedy, but got away with it. We're not going to bother with a handbag, it's not worth the risk. The bonus timer counts down quicker than... And then we're going to grab this. I think we should be alright. And then again, we're just doing that jumping trick at the top. Keep an eye on the flame that's on the middle rung. That could come up and get you. Right, now I'm off. There we go. Right, so the slight difference on a fourth level is you can now control really where the barrels drop. So if you're facing or you move the controller towards a ladder, the barrel above it should drop. So I'll give you an example. I'm going to move left there and you see the barrel comes down. I've just <laughs> trying to give you that example has completely ruined the level. But what will happen is um, as you get to the ladder, you'll see the barrels coming across the top. Um, and if you move, you can. If you just shift your controller towards that barrel, 
it will drop down uh, the ladders. You can kind of, after the sort of level four, you can control what's going on, uh, and that makes life a bit easier for you. So I hope some of that's been useful. If uh, I'm going to keep playing, uh, and I'll try and talk through what I'm doing while I'm playing it, I'm just going to check that the uh, volume, the sound issue, has been sorted. Uh, can uh, can everyone hear me? Um, which is a bit of a stupid question to ask, because if you can't hear me, you won't hear me asking that. Um, but if you can hear me, can you just drop me a little message on the comments? So. Yes, no. Is that a yes, John? Can you hear me? Good stuff. Right, that's good. Right, so I'm going to crack on again. For those of you who have just joined, I'm going to have another go from the start. And again, I'll try and talk through what I'm doing. This time, hopefully, I'll make a better job of it than that. So 57,000 isn't the worst score in the world. Um, wasn't wasn't a particularly good run. But if you're not doing great in your arcade, then this should hopefully get your scores up a bit. So we'll go and have another run at it. As I said before at the start, if you've just joined, I'm running this on a Pandora's box. Uh, we've got, obviously, the original machine in the arcade, but I didn't want to bring that home and do all the mucking about with that. So I'm going to try and go for 100k. I'm going to see how many attempts I can make it here before I realise that I can't make 100k. So as I said before, on the first level, you go for the hammer. It's the only time you'd probably go for the hammer on the... Uh, on the game, you, you don't bother with it in the later stages because the amount of time you have to spend waiting down the bottom, the bonus at the top counts down too quick and you might as well just go to the top. Plus you end up waiting around for a long time for barrels to appear. So there we go. So we're going to try and get to the top as quickly as possible without dying. And as I said before on the first run for it, every time you jump over a barrel, just give the... Oof, Give the um, joystick a little flick to the left or right to make sure you get your 100 points when you jump over the, when you jump over the barrels. Sometimes it just doesn't give you that. I don't know what it is. It's just a little glitch, I think. Uh, and then just walk to the end. Wait for the barrels to come down. If your hammer runs out, at least you give yourself time to jump over it, as you did here. And then as soon as we get a chance, we're going to go straight out that ladder. There we go. And that's level one done. So when we did our little tournament a little while ago, I think the highest score on the first level was 5,400. So 6,000 is not a bad score for level one. Again, if you're watching this for the first time, on the first level we go and get the handbag. And then we go across there. That's the only time you bother getting a handbag on the game. Other than that, you just go straight up. And we're going to take out these rivets with the aim of closing off this side of the screen. So that when we go and kill off the flames, they all respawn on that side of the screen and they're trapped. So make sure you're over the right hand side of the screen, so the right hand side of this ladder. Once you kill them off, the flames just start to appear on the left hand side and they're trapped now. They can't come back and get you, so that's good. Oh. And then we're going to get the second hammer and hopefully kill off the last two. See if we can wait for him to come down, encourage him to come down. No, he doesn't want to come down, so I'm just going to have to grab it and hope for the best. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, didn't want to come down. So we'll get a few hundred by just jumping and right at the top of the apex, and then we're, just, then we're going to close off the level. So again, not a particularly good score. You want to be getting about 12, 13 fouls on that first two levels. Uh, not not 10,000 or so, but it will do for now, it will do for now. So, as I said, second level, ignore the hammer, just go straight to the top. Well, the top hammer, anyway. Uh, some barrels have been kind to me there. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I didn't give myself enough room to move. That was poor. Really, really crap way to lose a life early on. Donkey Kong is on the arcade classic color. If you want to play the game and you want to try and play as close to the original game as possible, there is a classic version on the Switch. Um, I can't remember how much that is to download at the moment, uh, but 
That's a good way to spend I mean, it's an addictive game, everyone knows Donkey Kong, I think, so this is one of them games you can sit there and once you've got the hang of it and someone's explained a few bits, which hopefully this will get you into, you sort of see how it works. Um, you can go off and play it yourself and keep yourself occupied and see what scores. I don't know if they do online scoreboards on the Switch version as well, which would be really good. They've got them on there. So as I said before, jump straight onto the lift, jump off, that's, that flame didn't want to come down this time, he was doing it every, there he goes, come down there. So we'll jump off, and the aim is jump on the lift, jump off, get the hat, jump straight back off, get the umbrella, straight back on, we can going be tight here, jump on, then run across and onto there, and that's pretty much the hard work done, so now it's just a case of not being stupid. Uh, so watch me go and make a mistake and be stupid. So we're going to hang around here, see if the flame comes up, which it does. And we're going to do that jump in and then press in left or right. And glitch a few points out of it. And this is the same on the original version as well. If you want to watch a video of people infinitely better than me playing it, you'll see them do exactly the same thing. Just stand at the top. And we're going to get off at this point, I think. Let's just get it done. So again, run to the middle, you want sort of half on, half off, and as soon as it goes over your head, up you go. That only works in the first sort of three attempts of doing this. Once you get onto level four, uh, it gets a lot harder, and if we get there I'll try and explain, but I must admit I've never got through it myself. So we're going to do exactly the same as we did before. Just ignoring that bag down the bottom because it's not worth the risk trying to grab it. Flames seem like they're in a good position, so I'm gonna grab that hammer. Oh, come on, come on. Hopefully this one will come down. There we go, that's good. That's not a bad little, uh, not a bad start for this bit. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm gonna take that. Ah, oh, see, one's gonna cross the bottom. There is that is the only way they can get up here. So, so he doesn't come up too soon. If they can stay hanging around there, that's not. So, yeah, we can milk this. So up there, and then at the top of the jump, just press left or right. Do it in front of that yellow. Oh no! Right, off we get. So you can only get a few thousand points out of that just by standing there and doing that, but you've got to make sure that all the uh, flames are trapped on the left-hand side. Oh, just pop my camera in it. Right, again, exactly the same. Go up. Go up. Right, then, <laughs> those barrels that come flying down they take out the best of people, so don't get disheartened if you get knocked out by one of them. There's not really a lot you can do. Again, we're going to grab the hammer. And we're going to run to the end, just because I find it safer there. I know the pros generally tend to hang about near that one, so I'm going to go up here instead. And that's why I like it here, you just, the hammer will hit them as they go across the top, so it saves you having to wait around and then straight through. Right, so as I say, wait here, wait until the three flames, the flames come out, the flames correspond with the level that you're on, and then straight up. This, if the flames behave, this is so easy to level. Just gotta jump across, get that, get up there, watch for the pies that come out, the concrete pies, which apparently they are, and then straight up, and look at that, level's done in a matter of, so oh, there you go, make me look stupid. Uh, levels done in a matter of seconds. So don't muck, I mean you can sit there with a hammer and muck around hitting pies but you might as well just fly at the top. So same on this level, flames come straight down there so we're gonna go back off. Exactly the same principle as the first time we did it. Oh. Pop down a bit, wait for the flame to go down. Oh, this is going to get tight. I think I'm going to wait for him to go again. So the flame needs to go down. There we go. And then we're going straight across. And then we're jumping on here. And yeah, just about made it. And then we're going to do a little jump. 
jumping trick. Get this handbag. Oh. So again, we're just jumping at the top of the jump. And I'm going to give up on that now. And then strike the ladder. Right into the middle. And as soon as it goes over your head, we'll do the next one. There you go. to the rivets level again and you'll just notice that the flames just get faster and faster and things get more aggressive as you go through these levels and nothing much else changes obviously the levels are the same oh see that's what you gotta be careful of hopefully you'll go across and go down oh i don't want to waste loads of time here no go away and they come down them stairs really quick he's got upset there we go right Go and get that hammer. Hammer time. There we go. See, oh, look, so that's, see, I didn't get across to that side of the screen quick enough. So he's respawned over there, which is really going to upset things in a minute. Uh, let's just trap him over there anyway so I can get. So now I've got to try and kill him off with this middle hammer, which can be problematic. But... Oh, I don't like this, don't like this. Ah, oh, that's all right, I've got a result there. So we'll kill him off. Let's hope these two pop down. One of them should. Hang on. There we go. So that should respawn on the left. So if what this last one can come down in time, which is not gonna, is it? Typical. All right, let's try and encourage him down. Oh. <laughs> I am now trapped. Uh... All right, only one way to get out of this now then. So we won't get the bonus for jumping up a lot, but we will get out of the level, which is the main thing. We've 100 points to spare, which isn't great. And it's not gonna help my attempt to 100,000, but we're still alive, and that's the main thing. So I'll try and show you a bit better here the using the joystick to get the barrels to drop down in your favour. So, so I'm holding left there and you see how that barrel's dropped down. So I'm gonna try and find one. So if I hold right now, you'll see that barrel drops down. I'll just do it again for this blue one. Uh, actually, I'll do it for the next. I'll do it for that barrel. Uh, I'll try too hard to show you how it works and end up losing a life. It might be worth losing a life on this just to show you how this bit works, but... So I'm going to press left now. Wait one second. Oh, right. Press right now. Oh, it's not hard. Right. Well, this is the worst demo of that action ever because it's not working. So... And there's your murder barrel to take me out. <laughs> Two lives on this level is a joke. This is a bit like Ghosts and Goblins yesterday, it all fell apart. By the way, thank you for people that have been sending in scores for Ghouls and Ghosts or Ghosts and Goblins or whatever. Um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. We've had a few scores in, which is great. I hope you enjoyed the video yesterday and me trying to do some scores on it and it helps. Uh, so please keep trying on this. We're gonna close that competition on Saturday evening. So, uh, yeah, you've got plenty of time to, to get a score in. It's a great little game, actually. I didn't think I'd enjoy playing it as much as I did yesterday. I'm also going to get a list of podcasts for you guys to listen to if you're getting bored and just want something gaming related to look at or listen to. So you'll see if four flames will come out because we're on level four. See that? So play it over at the right-hand side of the screen until four have come out and then... We go and then you see at the top Donkey Kong's got to the top so the lift the uh, tracks change direction at the bottom so you see when he gets to the far right again it's going to change direction so let's just keep an eye on that if you get stuck on that middle floor so oh this is oh this is shaky ground let's 
go for it. No. Oh, I've got away with that. Now, I think we go back to the barrel level again. That's it. Yeah. And again, as I said before, you can just try and use the controller to manipulate where the barrel's going. So just give it a little shove. There you go. Shove it left. Shove it left. There you go. And the barrel's are coming down at your will. So it's really useful. Um, and it's if you're getting trapped, it's a useful little trick to have. That flame's coming up a bit. Oh, I learned it. Oh, bloody hell. So if I pump right here, that blue should... Ah! Oh. <laughs> um, one of the common things that happens on Donkey Kong is if you're not careful, the barrel can slip under the hammer. Uh, and that is what's just happened there. But 73,000, so we're getting closer. So I'm going to try and talk less, which is probably to your benefit. Well, at least talk less about the game and talk you through it and try and concentrate a bit. But if there's anything you want to ask or talk about, um, please stick it on the comments and I will uh, try and answer why I'm playing. Sorry, I'm having a beer while I'm doing this as well. So, let's have a go. Let's try and make this a, a decent attempt. A good video to watch to sort of see how uh, people play is, which is, um, I don't know if anyone's seen The King of Kong. Uh, quite a few people bring it up who come into the arcade. It is a fantastic documentary about Billy Mitchell and a guy called Steve Weeby who are battling out for uh, the right to be called The King of Kong and, and have the highest score. Oh my god, I've just wrecked it while chatting away. I have gnaws this right up. Um, but anyway. I'm gonna... it, 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 yeah, so it's about these two guys who are battling out to have the world record on Donkey Kong. Um, I'm gonna end up killing myself here because this is a terrible attempt straight away. So, um, it's about two guys who battle it out to be a high school Donkey Kong, as I just said, um, and the various different things that happen. It, it almost seems like it's a joke, like, like it's a parody when you're watching it. Um, but it's not, it's genuine uh, and sort of gives an insight into the mindset of the people that go for world records on these games. Billy Mitchell has since been banned from all competitions for cheating, which it kind of alludes to in that documentary anyway. Uh, but I don't, I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's on Netflix. It was on Netflix for ages, it's not anymore. Um, but if, I think it's on YouTube, so have a look and see if it's on YouTube. Uh, it's a great documentary if you're sitting, if you've got plenty of time over the next few weeks to be sitting in. Grab it and watch it, it's great. It's also quite, I don't know, it depends, I guess it depends on your mindset, but it's quite inspiring to sort of get into these sort of games and and helps you understand why people get addicted to them when there's that such competitive uh, element to it. And there's a huge community on it. Uh, so I don't know if anyone watching has heard of Twin Galaxies, they manage the high scores for these games uh, a good website to check out it, 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 it does it used to be sort of principally just arcade games uh, it's, it's branched out into a lot more things now so if you are sitting at home playing the game and you're thinking you're getting particularly good at it then check out Twin Galaxies see what the top scores are and see, uh, see, see if your features anywhere near the top we've got a couple of people that come into the arcade which are on Twin Galaxies which do hold world records uh, sorry, or in the sort of top tens for games, there is a couple of world record holders in there as well. So it isn't beyond the realms of uh, imagine to, uh, to to get to get on Twin Galaxies. I think there's a few games on there which <laughs> this has really uh, gone quite hard on me. You know? I have broken my own rule there, so I'm kind of trapped. This is going to be interesting because they've conspired against me here, the flames. Should still be able to get away with this, but it's not gonna be a particularly good score, I don't think. I need him to come down to re... Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Right, let's get this cleared out. Uh, yeah, so have a look on there. If you're stuck in and you think you're getting good at a game, go on there. There's got loads and loads of games on there. Check out where you feature on the, 
on the scoreboard. There are a few games, like I was just about to say, that don't have a lot of uh, a lot of scores on there. I'm just going to get this level cleared as soon as I can get up there. Thank you very much. Um, that don't have a lot of scores on there. So if you find one of them games, <laughs> it's definitely not a kill screen coming up, Rob. Um, but Rob's definitely seen the King of Kong. Um, yeah, so have a look out for games on there which have not got many scores and you can just get yourself on Twin Galaxies and then you can tell your mates if your mates are interested that you're on Twin Galaxies and you're in the top 10 of the world on a particular game. Oh no, I've got to have, this has gone all wrong. I've, I've, I've gone the first sort of half hour of this stream saying what to do and what not to do and this run I've done the exact opposite so this is going to be another shonky score but we'll keep going anyway, can't keep quitting. Nicer, got away with that, that was good. I'm gonna run all the way to the end. Let's hover about, up we go. Great video on YouTube of Steve Weave doing a record attempt in a shopping centre. Um, and that, that's actually where I picked up most of the sort of tips for this. And how to do this, just sort of watching that. That, that shows sort of the level of life I have. Um, but what's quite funny about it is he's doing it in the shopping centre and they're clearly rigged up. Oh, what an idiot. This is what happens when I talk, this is why I shouldn't be talking. Anyway, um, they've clearly rigged up the speakers to... Uh, to play around a shopping centre, so all people can sort of hear if they're walking around a shopping centre is the weird noises from Donkey Kong. So if they don't know what's going on, they must think they're going absolutely mad. Get some, at least get some flames on this level to clear out. So B comes up. Nope. And that one's going to come straight up the middle again. No. <laughs> this is a shocking attempt. Well, at least I've got that left-hand side clear now. I'll just run up there while they're all mucking about and then get the ammo, hopefully. But this is not... This is exactly not how to do this level. Although, I may have got lucky here. If he comes down and that one comes up, come on. No, he's not doing that. coming across, we're off. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> That's a common thing that happens in Donkey Kong um, when you're not concentrating particularly well is not finishing off the ladder and just sort of waiting halfway up the ladder and then thinking you can jump. This is a really poor attempt. I'm gonna keep going just for a bit of practice on this bit. Oh, come on, go across. Come on, calm down. Calm down. This is what dragging down. So this is exactly how you want it set up to do this little jump trick at the top. You want every, all the flames trapped on that left hand side top floor. Michael, I will be posting this video up at the uh, when I've finished, so hopefully you can pick up some of the little tips 
that I gave at the start and, and improve your game. It's not too hard. Once you've got used to all the bits where you manipulate the score and you can know where to jump and know what you're doing, it's actually not too bad. Everyone can fall foul of the odd barrel or whatever, but I'm sure we get your scores up. So we're going to try and make the barrels jump, drop down when we want them to. So we're going to press right here. There you go. And then there you go. Yeah, don't worry, Michael, I'll post it up for you after. I might do a little talk through the next attempt as well, though I'll find that when I'm talking, uh, I don't do a particularly good job. So again, we're waiting. We've got four, level four, so four flames are going to come out. Wait that side of the screen for them all to pop out. And there we go. We're just keeping on the pies. The pies pop out from that side, so you've got to be careful. And we're just going to wait here. Wait until the ladder goes back up, and we're going up. There we go, easy level. So this, oh actually no, we're going back to the barrel level, so this level shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and the next one is the infamous spring level where there is only sort of one or two springs that you can jump across on. And if you get the wrong one, you are not, you're not going to do it. And I've never got past it. So my chances of getting 100,000 on this particular run are pretty slim because I should have been a lot higher than that. So, 81,400. I could potentially try and have, hover about and get to 100,000, I guess. I'm not sure I can get 19,000 out of this level. I'm gonna let that drop down. Back on the lift when the flame starts going up. Get the hat. Run back, back on the lift. To get on here quick, get off, get on, run across, and onto there. Right, let's give the springs a go. This isn't going to go well. Nope. <laughs> that is the spring level I was referring to. That he, there's only certain springs you can go on, and basically, you have to wait for the spring to land in the middle of Donkey Kong's feet before you do. Anything, but it is it's pretty tough. So we're gonna have another go. 83,000 isn't bad, but I did quite poorly at the start. So, and, and in the second level. So we'll have another go, see how we get on. Mike, do you want me to talk you through what I'm doing on these first levels? If you're still there, let me know. Grab the hammer on this level. Let's see if we can get the flame. Nope. Off we go. Flames seem to be coming up rapidly on this. Don't remember them doing that, that aggressively before.
hoping they would stay down there and I could take them out with a hammer. Let's see what I'm doing. Come on. <laughs> oh. Let's kill this one off. Poor run, I'm gonna get myself another beer and start again, I think. If you're just tuning in and you've got any questions at all you want to ask, feel free to throw them at me. I will try and answer them while I've been particularly poor at getting a high score on this. So the aim is to try and get under a thousand. I don't know if I'm ever going to get there. But I will do my best. I've never done it before. Perfect. 
What a mess. <laughs> Don't feel like this is going to be my day on this game. What a mess. Hello, if you've just joined, feel free to ask any questions. This is a particularly bad run. I've had a few runs here. I've got about 83,000 seems to be at the top at the moment. I'm going to keep going just for a bit of practice, but I don't expect to get to 100,000 on this one. Please don't come down now. There we go.
This is not going to go well. Come on, come down, come back down. Some of you come down, someone come down. Perfect. No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, words escape me. What am I doing? Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. So let's fingers crossed we can make it. This one I might pop back on later on and have some more attempts. Hopefully this has kept some of you entertained for a while. I helped you out at the start with some of the tips. Um, if you're just joining, so I did a few tips at the start. No, if you're just watching this part of it, um, I did a few tips at the start, which will help you get your scores up. Obviously, you can see I'm not the best at it. My best is 83,000. I think my best is about 90,000 down at the arcade. Uh, but still never broken 100,000. So let's see if I can do it on this last attempt. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, uh, what? A second. Oh, this point now. That's why I've been quiet. 
Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, no. Panic. Sorry about the noises. Quite common noises come from this room. Well, I'm reaching along. Come on, there we go. So this is going to be quite a good little level, actually. Assuming this guy stays down here, we're okay. So your aim is to get to 100,000, as I think I mentioned a couple of times earlier on, uh, for those who just joined. I have never got to 100,000 before, um, which is quite a sort of good, good sort of landmark on this game. Because it generally sort of hit 100,000 around level 4, um, the, the fourth version of the spring level, so. Which is, I still have never got past. How have I done that? <laughs> How have I done that? <laughs> oh, tiredness kicking in. Oh, 
Oh, oh I just wrecked the whole thing. Oh, I'm gonna have one more go. Last go. Oh, I can't help myself. Back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, calm down, calm down. That was never gonna go well. Mm -hmm.
Come on, come down there, we go. Slim, slim chance of making that 100,000 at the moment. If I had a life, I'd potentially kill myself off at this point and milk the score. is it for me 83,000 being the best which is not good um, but hopefully if you're watching a replay of this you've picked up a few tips uh, and you've seen it even the people who play this game all the time struggle with it but it is a fantastic game as I said 
It's on the Nintendo Switch, the arcade version. You can get it on Pandora's boxes and things like that, the sort of multi-game emulators. There are versions on the NES, which are okay. Um, they're not great, um, but they're okay. They're, they're playable. So hopefully that's distracted you for... I don't even know how long I've been up there. I know it's gone dark since I've been here, but uh, yeah, I don't know how long I've been here. But I, however long you've been watching for, I hope that's kept you entertained for a time. If you're watching it back, I hope you've enjoyed it. If there's anything you would like to see from Neon Knights in terms of videos while we're all locked away, or tutorials or anything like that, um, please feel free to, to chime in. Remember to join up the Isolation Tournaments group. Um, and we'll be doing different tournaments over the next few weeks there. Um, but thank you for watching. Uh, remember to stay at home where possible. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you soon and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.